Hello and welcome to more Cave Story! We are in the exact same spot that we left off last time and a lot of you, actually the overwhelming majority of you guys said definitely play it blind. A few of you said not to, but the overwhelming majority said do it blind, so that's what we're going to do. So let's continue from here. I guess we have to go talk to a few people. Good work! The bike is a complete wreck, but somehow we made it. You guys sure did. The doctor's scheme is moving along as planned. We need to hurry and do something about it. I guess we'll have to do that. Welcome back! Seems like I owe you yet another one! With Kazuma here, I'm sure we'll be able to handle the password for that egg. Professor Booster, can we bring him along? Oh, please bring me along. Professor, huh? Sue, our escape must be put on hold for now. What? Why? The doctor has found the location of the red flowers. Oh no! Not the red flowers, huh? As of yet, he doesn't seem to have his hands on them. Does he have his feet on them? Probably not that either, but it's only a matter of time before he does. Their location is in Sand Zone. I've heard that the red flowers are there. Not sandstone, it's sand zone. So if we go there, will we find the doctor? Mm hmm I fear that it's the doctor's minions that will presumably go. Yeah, probably the evil henchmen. We must eradicate the red flowers before they get their hands on them. However, sand zone is a very dangerous place. If we, go, if we were to go, whether or not we can make it back alive isn't. Are you giving up then? Actually, no. We have just the right person here with us now. Who? Me? Oh, crud, it's me. What is he? Hmm, well, he is an armored recon robot that was dispatched to this island ten years ago. Okay, well, that explains our square head. I guess we're a robot. A robot? I uh, had heard that they were just all destroyed after the war. However, I don't know the exact details. Perhaps one of them... Professor, I've connected us to the Sand Zone teleporter. So just as they were about to give us some details on our character, I guess we got cut off. Oh well. You are the most ideal among us here to search the island. Please help us. All right, I'll do what I can, but not before I go and heal and save. I guess we could heal up in the beds. I think I did that last episode. I was like, hey, we can heal in the beds here. And there was a healing point in the exact same area, but yeah, well, let's see if the sand zone area. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go off to sand zone. Not sure if there's any more secrets to find at this point in Mimi Got Village, but I guess we'll just move on with the uh, zones right here. Let's see, what weapon do I want to use? Oh, is that another robot? She looks just like me. I mean... Aside from the hair and clothes decisions, but I mean, she had the weird green antenna thing going on, so maybe there's more than one robot. Oh, we've got a reskin of the fly dudes from the first area here. So let's see if we can deal with them. They're pretty weak. They die pretty easily. I think Polar Star is going to be a better option for this, because, uh, well, those guys are pretty high up, and Polar Star is just better at that. Once again, me falling off of basic platforms. Let's not do that. Okay, let's see if I can get this one. Oh, oh gosh, I jumped right into that. That was the worst thing I could have done. Let's go over here and get that heart. Looks like this side's a little bit easier to get up. Got him. Yeah, there we go. And I think I... Oh, I guess I don't have to worry about that one. Or maybe I do. Gosh dang it, Saiku. Could you not fall off of things? I mean, you're not a falafel. Oh, I guess we do have to go up the other side. Well, let's shoot that guy first. Let's see. Can I make it onto that block at least? Okay, I kind of did, but then I fall off again like I always do. Oh, oh gosh dang it, Psycho! Please, dude. Please. Like, I, I think that platformers are the games I'm the best at, so to fail platforming sections is... Not good. Not, not a good look, Psycho. Uh, let's go inside here. We've got a wine glass, it looked like. Ah! Uh-oh. Are they trapped in the quicksand? It, wait, is this some of the Mimi gods that were missing? Look, a visitor after such a long time. I know what you want to do, but you better wake up. The Mimi gods aren't the enemy. They're totally harmless. I mean, I wasn't trying to kill them. Oh, I'm on the Mimi gods side and not gonna lose. I'm on their side too. Hello! Hello! What the crud? All right, I guess we've got ourselves a little enemy here. I don't want to kill the Mimi God, but they leave me no choice. Actually, do I have a choice? I don't even know if I have a choice right now, but I'm going to assume I have no choice. Even though I actually might. Maybe if I let them kill me, it'll work out better. Okay, well, they're taking all my... Uh, they're knocking all the experience out of my weapon, so... Let's go for the missiles instead and see how that works. She's got, like, a shield over there. Okay, let's just use our Polar Star. Oh, gosh, they're back. Oh, I actually died. You have died. Want to re I would like to reach out, yes. Oh, crud. Okay, so that is an actual boss. Let's try again. All right, here comes take number two at this. Let's try dodging this time. Maybe, like, not getting hit by the bullets is a pretty good tactic. Yeah, she kind of charges up before her shot's there, so if we just keep bouncing these balls around, I think we might be able to get this. The only thing is those guys that keep getting back up are hurting us. But yeah, our shots are going to keep bouncing off the walls, so I think I got this, guys. I think we'll get it this time. I've taken a few points of damage, but nothing like last time. And there we go. We got her. I kind of feel bad for doing that. Maybe I was able to go through the door to escape or something, but yeah, you got me. Heck yeah, we did. We've been defeated. Do you plan on disposing of the Mimi? Of course not. I'm on your side too. Oh, are you on the Mimi? Yes, that's what I was trying to tell you. I know it's not their fault. I'm Curly Brace. I've been with these little ones since before I can remember. I don't recall anything before that. Apparently it's, well, 
Apparently it's called memory loss. Yeah, I don't think you would remember anything from before you remember. I think that's kind of how that works. A little bit redundant there. I may have been a Mimi God Killer just like the other... Wait. The robots were Mimi God Killers? Your Polar Star is thrashed pretty badly. Want to trade it in for my machine gun? Oh gosh, I love the Polar Star, but... Oh, we're gonna say yes. Gosh dang it. As much as I love the Polar Star, the machine gun sounds pretty awesome, so let's give that a shot. Hopefully this is not a regretful decision. Let's go inside the save room, and even though it was kind of grayed out on the outside, I guess we can indeed save here, so we'll do that. Let's see, can we talk to this guy? All he says is ARF. Oh gosh. Okay, let's try out this machine gun here. It's only level one right now. Alright, this is actually looking pretty good. Let's charge this guy up here. So now let's keep going this way. I think this is where we gotta go now. I don't know, maybe we could have entirely skipped that side room, but I've got a feeling we had to do that. I don't know why I'm breaking these blocks. It's kind of pointless. Uh, can I hurt those guys? Not quite. Guess we'll just keep going through these things. These star blocks kind of remind me of Kirby. It's the only other game I can really think of that had star blocks. Oh boy. Okay, let's just machine gun this dude. Let's see if we can get him from a good spot. It looks like he's kind of stuck to the wall. Oh, he's breaking apart. I think that might be enough experience to level up here. Let's see if I can grab everything before it vanishes. Not quite. That's, uh, I don't want to go over there and risk getting hit. So I'm just going to stay out here, because the thing about getting hit is it's not just the health damage, it's also the fact that I'll lose all the experience I went out of my way to get in the first place, so not a whole lot of reason to do that. It looks like the uh, the ammo restores pretty quickly if we just stop shooting, but not nearly as quickly as the bubbler. The bubbler restored very quickly, and this weapon also seems to level up kind of slowly. I'm not sure if that's just my imagination, but well, let's uh, go in and not, okay, not go too deep into that place. And with the upgrade here, it looks like this crud is going to be doing more damage. It doesn't look like the bullets get any bigger, so we've got to still aim this pretty well. But yeah, I am very glad I decided to go with the machine gun instead of the Polar Star. Let's keep avoiding those alligators. Can we kill those? Well, let me lure them out there. Lure them out. Yes. And we killed them. Okay, so let's try to get up to level 3. Not quite. We're almost there. Uh, let's go, 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 go. Oof. And not quite. Wait, did we get him? I did not get him. I, I didn't at all. Okay. Well, as long as we kill these guys, they'll drop the experience down onto me. And it looked like there might have even been a secret. Well, uh, just a health, I guess. I'm gonna have to, like, build some kind of staircase out of this. Uh, can I go through there? I don't... I guess I don't need the heart. It's fine. It's all good. We'll just keep going. But that right there looks like a save point. But how do we get up there? Well, first I'm gonna try to avoid jumping directly into spikes. Oh, boy! Well, I almost did exactly that, but I managed to avoid doing it. This might be a secret path up here. Let me see if I can sneak over this way. It is! Okay. And I thought that was going to drop me into the spikes for a second. Why a save point of all things up here? you think they'd give me like a health or something, but now we just got save points up there. I guess I'll take it. I'm not going to free these guys. I would like to upgrade my weapon to level 3, but you know what? I'll just focus on the ones that are already escaped like this guy. Ow, crud! Ow, oh, jeez. Well, at least they dropped some hearts. And I got hit, so I lost a little bit of experience, but I think... Never mind. I was going to say I think I can make up for that, but no, I can't. Uh, can I get up there? Oh, I'd like that healing point. I kind of took a lot of the damage from the big dude. I think if I very carefully go over this way without destroying the platforms, then I should be able to make it. Question is, can I break that bottom one? Oh gosh, I almost just ruined it for myself. Can I make it in there? I cannot. So I've got to find some way to break that. And I don't know if that's something that's going to be easy to do. Okay, you know what? You know what we're going to do? Ah, oh, crud. I guess I'll just shoot a missile. Will that work? What if I shoot it right here? Nope, that's not going to work either. Wow. I've got this figured out, guys. Watch this. That was so complicated. Holy crud. Good job. Uh, okay, now I just got to make it up there. Don't worry, guys. I'm good at video games. I made it. Life and missiles refilled. Oh, look at this crud. Oh, I can see we've got those, uh, those folly guys. But they fall even if uh, the blocks are not... Okay. So as long as we don't break the blocks that are holding them up, we'll be fine. Oh, dude, we got another boss fight? I don't think I got my weapon to level 3. That Balrog, he's blundered yet another time. Uh-oh. It's misery. Hmm? You now have a lot of spirit. Excuse me. However, to come all the way here, you're a bit troublesome. You want to take me on? Heck yeah! Let's do it. Oh, it doesn't seem like it'll be necessary. Bye now! Oh gosh, we've got sand demons! Or scorpions or something. Well, let's just try to use my machine gun as much as we can here. Right, it looks like I can break these blocks. Ooh, get some experience out of them too! And health. Health is good. Oh gosh, I forgot it has ammo. We gotta watch out for that. Okay, let's just use the bubbles! Use the bubbles! Okay, if we're gonna get leveled down, we might as well have it level the bubbles down! Oh gosh, never mind. Bubbles are not good. Let's just use the- let's use the firepower here. Fireballs, my favorite weapon. Yeah, look at that damage! Oh gosh, can I get over him? Oh! This is not going so well, but at least we've got plenty of health here. Uh, okay. A little bit more. 
I think my machine gun ammo's gotta be back by now. Oh, or we can just shoot missiles at him. I've gotta figure out if the machine gun ammo comes back while we don't have the weapon out, but we defeated Omega! Hooray! I don't remember if I mentioned this, but on this new file here, I did choose normal difficulty. I think that's what I chose the first time around as well. Alright, so we've got Omega defeated, but it doesn't seem like any path opened up for doing that, unless we can shoot that. No? Hmm. Actually, let's test this. Let's shoot a bunch of bullets here. We'll switch weapons, and then we'll wait a couple seconds, switch back. No, it looks like it does not restore when we switch away. Either that or I just wasn't patient enough, but it doesn't look like it'll restore there. Hmm, so we've got to figure out where to actually go next. I guess I'll just go ahead and heal here. And I kind of want to destroy these guys. Oh, gosh dang it, of course. I think that those uh, skeletons are marking where those enemies are. But yeah, I just want to go over here real quick just to see if there's anything. My machine gun's back to level one. Great. Can I break through all these? Nothing. Well, there's a heart, but I mean, pretty much nothing inside there. All I got was a weapon level down. Hmm, yeah, I don't see what else to do here, so I'll just look around for a bit, guys. Oh, okay, so I just backtracked over here and these things decided to move, so I guess we just had to backtrack a little bit. Oh, and we've got butt heads. All right, let's try not to get wrecked by these guys. I'm just hoping they're not gonna like lunge at me here. Yeah, it looks like they're pretty docile. They're just kind of jumping back and forth here, so they're pretty easy to take down, even with my level one weapon here. I would like to get this upgraded as soon as I can, though, so let's just keep shooting. Kill them before he gets to me, yeah! There we are. These enemies are dropping a lot of HP, which is probably a good thing, because I'm taking a lot of damage. Wow, that is that is a lot of hearts right there. At least I'm not finding, like, turkeys or hams or whatever you find inside the walls in Castlevania. Uh, we've got a building up here. Let's go check that out, at least. Let's see, this is Jenka's house. Oh, boy. Let's go inside. Uh, well, there's a save point. Let's check it out. Here we are. And let's go talk to this lady. Who are you? I've never seen you around here before, child. And yeah, that's it. Let's go inside this little hole. No? Nothing? We can't do anything here? No, that's all she says. Alright, I guess this is just kind of a little save point. I'm sure she'll be important later. Well, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing she will be. Let's just go kill these guys off again. See if we can get some more experience. No, just some hearts. Don't really need the hearts anymore. It looks like the hearts and the missiles in that big section respawned. That's pretty cool. Okay, right here it says, Sand Zone Warehouse East. So the warehouse is probably going to be over this way. Uh-oh, we've got parrot dudes, and they actually make these things kind of dangerous. They're like throwing skulls at me. Or, skulls, they're throwing bones at me. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm out of ammo. That always seems to happen with that weapon. I love the machine gun, but I've got to manage my ammunition a little better there. Let's see, I guess I'll just use the bubbler for now. Oh, or just get my bubbler level down. I missed my puller star, dude. I had no ammo issues with that one. It's okay, the fireball can work as my, uh, my no ammo weapon here. Oh boy. And I can also kill fireballs with it, I guess, or... Gosh dang it, they're not fireballs or skulls, they're gosh dang just bones. I don't even know what type of bone that is, just some kind of bone. Ow! Oh jeez! Oh, some kind of bone that Q-Bone would be using. Okay, we've killed the turtles. Kill off those bones right there. I guess we'll just use some missiles. Ow, oh, ow! Oh. Die! Holy crud, 41 damage on that guy. Let's go see if we can save a puppy. Oh, why are you running from me? Well, they're probably gonna go get themselves into danger. Should I chase down the puppy or should I just let it go? That's a tough question. Ow, would you get up there? Please, little dude. Maybe we're not meant to go that way. Maybe we have to jump along this way here. I feel like I can make that jump though. Come on. Oh, I guess not. Let me do some backtracking here. Okay, I'm thinking I've got to get up right here and then make my way all the way across the top path. Is that a secret? I think those little paw prints mark out where secrets are, right? So let's go check that out. Oh, look at this! What the heck? Oh, there's a healing point up there. Or not a healing point, there's a health pack, actually. I can figure out how to get up there. Let's try going this way. We have to go all the way around. Oh, another doggy! Hey, dude! So let's go inside here. Deserted house, and inside here we've got a leaky ceiling, I guess? I hope that's not dog pee. What are we, where can we jump up? Okay, there we go. Oh, gosh dang it! What the crud? I feel like I should be able to get up there, but I can't seem to find a way to do that. So I guess we're just going back to the sand zone here. And you know what, guys? I think we're going to wrap things up here. We'll come back next time, see if we can find our way through the sand zone and see, uh, figure out what we have to do next. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you then. Take care.